Hey guys, Ash here coming at you today and Watcher of Realms. Welcome to the video, guys. I'm glad to have you all here. Send us some positive vibes your way, especially if you need it out there today. You know what, guys? It has been now uh, a few months. I've been playing the game for a couple months, a little bit over two months now. I've been uploading here on the channel for a little bit over three weeks. Uh, I still love the game, but I wanted to kind of take stock, take inventory on the game. Is it worth playing, especially if you're a brand new player? Or maybe you just started playing uh, and you don't know exactly what you've gotten into or you've just never picked up the game before. Is Watcher of Realms a game that has the new relationship feel for me after a couple months started to fade with this game uh, and what do I think of it overall that's going to be the intent of today's video but first and foremost I just wanted to thank you guys honestly it might not sound like much and it's my fourth or fifth YouTube channel right at this point a decade into the uh, the YouTube game but I have to be totally real with you guys 6,000 subscribers I didn't repurpose this channel from any other existing content this is started totally from scratch and uh, to get 6,000 subscribers honestly in a few weeks again uh, in 20 videos I am so grateful honestly like that we have a little community here and that's like first and foremost the thing I wanted to point out is I've been trying to collaborate with as many other creators as I possibly can because I'm not an expert in this game frankly there aren't many experts it's only been out for a few months you know there's not that many experts in this game so I've been trying to take as much knowledge from you guys in the comments from other top players in the game from other content creators and really make this channel very collaborative so I guess I would ask you and this is kind of a weird thing to say but I guess I would ask you just like my raid channel when I started, just like my clash channel when I started that, just like my previous channels to that, is bear with me a bit as I start to optimize and learn and also learn how to teach, right? Learn how to teach this game. Teach me. Uh, over the next months, I guarantee the content will continue to improve here on the channel. I feel like I'm sure you guys are the same way, but I feel like I'm learning so much every single day from all the other content creators out there, from you guys again in the comments, and uh, just wanted to thank you guys uh, so much for the support here on the channel. It's been a blast covering Watcher of Realms. So overall, what do I think of Watcher? First of all, it's hard not to make the raid comparisons. I already put out a whole video comparing it to Raid Shadow Legends. That's the game that I come from in terms of this genre and I have to be real man in terms of the back end of this game like upgrading and stuff like that aside from the gear upgrades which there's no instant gear upgrades in this game and boy oh boy that really sucks right it's really tedious I heard they're gonna be adding it though by the way I, I pulled Ajax off uh, camera just a little side note I opened one freaking rare summoning crystal or whatever and i got this dude i'll probably make a whole video about that either way guys i hate the gear in this game be ready and maybe they're going to be fixing this soon i hear uh not fixing it but adding an instant upgrade because enhancing it and auto enhancing and waiting for it to roll up that's a thing of the past it feels very archaic and i hate it uh luckily it doesn't take forever you know uh, but it is going from instant upgrades to this is tedious to say the least also in this game uh i feel like it's pretty intuitive for beginners right i do regret slacking a bit on the storyline although i've made a little bit of recent progress so make sure you stay up with the storyline the good thing about this game is you can basically follow the storyline in the campaign although it might be a little dry in areas uh it will guide you towards what you should be doing obviously tied every day this is one of those games there that i feel like you just go through the motions for a couple weeks you don't even need to like binge beginner content you go through the motions and i feel like you're kind of gonna get you're kind of gonna understand everything you know so even when you hit walls in areas like the tide uh first of all do the tide every day and then when you hit walls make sure you come in here and claim your loot right if you're out of these were like little tips that I learned along the way that I wish somebody had told me in the very beginning because when I hit a wall initially in the tide I didn't keep uh <laughs> claiming my loot I just thought I was like this is like in the first week or whatever you know I just thought that you couldn't claim anymore right so obviously continue to do that find a guild you know farm uh areas that you can never have enough of in this game are frankly the resources right so another negative I would say is there is quite a there's gonna be a time where you're gonna hit like a pretty hard uh, plateau in terms of always feeling like you are running dry on EXP and gold in this game. Uh, specifically gold, I wanna say, but EXP too, I guess. So these are things that you can farm in the very beginning of the game and you will never regret it, okay? You'll never regret farming resources in this game. Uh, although I will say that once you get to stage seven, uh, 
unlocked in campaign the rewards for your stamina go up quite significantly so i would say once you reach stage seven that would be the time to start really unloading some stamina because you forget the double negative you're never going to not need exp and gold in this game uh okay so those are really the only negatives to this game that I can think of. Positives. Number one is they do not assault you compared to other games with pop-ups. I know it's not like a massive game changer, you know, in terms of like, that's if that's the best thing you can say about a game that they're not hammering you with ads, I mean, cool. But I mean, they do very occasionally. But other games, I won't name any, uh, it's just like an endless assault. Every time that you come back to your home screen here, you're getting assaulted by ads. It's not like this. As a matter of fact, as somebody who does spend occasionally in these games, uh, and I've spent a few hundred dollars in this game, by the way, over the last few months, but nothing like absurdly crazy, you know? Obviously that is significant, but I'm a content creator too, and I wanted to, you know, experience the mid game and stuff like that and not be super, super, super early game for the entire YouTube channel whether you agree or disagree that's kind of the, the the route that i went but anyway i say all that to say like the shop sometimes i actually forget to even check in you know and see like what's going on right if there's any good deals as somebody who does spend in the game because they're not assaulting me i'm so used to other games just being like pop up there you go these are all the deals for the day they don't do that uh my favorite thing about this game in terms of the back end meaning when i say back end i mean like upgrading your your heroes collecting your heroes is number one is you can summon a lot of good heroes in this game uh the rates are are really actually pretty solid on some of these uh some of these even legendaries uh, uh heroes right uh, so I find that it's easier to get your hands on really good heroes than it is other games in this genre. Moreover, they give you uh, three very, very exceptionally good, even more than that, arguably, uh, heroes in this game. Wrath you get on day 14. Uh, incredibly good, like an end game epic that you get early on. Mara you get on day three. She's insanely good in gear raid one and guild boss, right? Uh, and then you get Olag. Uh, Olag is one of the better tanks defenders. He can stand toe to toe with legendaries in this game, if not better than most legendary defenders in this game. You get, you get him free uh, as well early on in Void Rift. So you get three exceptionally good and then add all the champions you're, or the heroes you're just going to pull in the meantime. Uh, good heroes. So that's really cool, right? Uh, everything in this game is pretty intuitive in terms of upgrades. As I was alluding to earlier, my favorite thing in this game is the quick star up. I mean, it's so nice, guys. You go in here. How many three to four stars instead of going into your tavern and tediously upgrading every single one of your heroes one at a time? You can do it all literally in one skadoosh. Or two uh, clicks or taps, you know? I'm turning, hey, look at this, guys. I'm turning my three stars into four stars. This is where, by the way, you burn through experience very, very quickly. Look, at I'm dry again. But. Either way, you can do it in all a couple clicks, right? And then you can go four to five. I just need to farm more experience as I was talking about earlier, right? But this is such a more smooth process for upgrading in this game. I absolutely love it. So you can see there's quite a lot to do in this game, right? Especially if you're brand new. Sorry for talking, you know, not like super advanced, but I want this to appeal to somebody who's never picked up the game as well. Essentially, you're promoting your, your heroes through each of these areas in the promotion raids. That's how you can like upgrade and ascend or promote your your uh, your heroes. Uh, you're getting your resources from the well, the resource raid, right? It's pretty intuitive. Guild boss is pretty intuitive. You work with your guild to, uh, you know, get rewards by beating the guild bosses on different difficulties. Gear raids is easy. Weapons, breastplates here. Bangles, amulets, and rings, or accessories, if you want to call them, uh, here. Uh, and then this is kind of like more tankier, you know, sets, uh, more more melee sets. And this is more like mage, marksman, DPS sets, with some exceptions, right? So it's like very intuitive in terms of what you're doing. And there's different types of heroes that are better suited for all of these different areas. It's really well balanced, meaning whether it's a healer, or a fighter, or a defender, or a mage, or a marksman, the five classes in the game at the time of this recording, you have a need for all of them almost equally you know maybe a bit more for your you know some of your heavy dps but there's some areas in this game let's just go to artifact material raid for example right and this is where you you know you farm your artifacts uh there's some areas of the game where there's only one tile for a you know there's in this game there's you know it'd be probably better if i just stop and i do it manually 
but fighters and defenders, uh, they go on like the ground tiles. And in the platforms, you know, your, your range units, your, your mages and your marksmen, okay? So in this level, for example, I can only use one platform unit. So again, I say this to illustrate the balance, and this is just one example. Uh, so it's really well balanced in this game. Now, in terms of the gameplay in, in this game, right? I love it, I love it. I think it's absolutely, just to cut to the chase, I think this game is absolutely worth playing. I'm more into it now than I was the day that I downloaded this game. Uh, truthfully, I really enjoy this this game. It's it's so much fun in terms of the actual battles, right? Uh, let me give you an example, right? There's a lot of strategy and the further you progress in this game, the more strategy is involved. Uh, that's a really important point because in the beginning, it can feel like you're just throwing your, oops, you're throwing your units out there. What really made me fall in love with this game though is, is as you progress, the strategy gets a lot more intricate and it's really fun. It doesn't overwhelm you, but like for example, an area like this, positioning as you progress in this game becomes more and more and more important. What units you place on which square inside this game is going to be absolutely pivotal, right? And you start to learn the importance of certain debuffers, etc., etc., in this game, right? So I guess what I'm trying to say here, guys, is that there's a lot of strategy here, especially when you just start picking up this game. I feel like a lot of players can maybe underestimate how much strategy exists inside this uh, game. There's a lot of it, right? And it's not just about placement in which units you're placing where in this game, uh, which is another super cool thing about it, right? It's also a big factor of taking units back. There's a lot of stages in this game where you're gonna have to recall. And when you recall a champion, meaning when you take them off of the map, what's gonna happen is, guys, is you are gonna get a, uh, a di you're gonna get a payback of half of their cost. So you can actually start cycling heroes in this game, which is super cool, right? So you can cycle heroes, get recouped cost, cycle more heroes in, strange up, change up your strategy, change up the type of, of you know, you can, uh, you can get faction bonuses. You can uh, farm for other bonuses vis-a-vis -vis your tide. What I'm trying to say is there's a lot of strategy when it comes to team construction, uh, placements, cycling, recalling uh, in every stage carries a new strategic kind of, uh, I don't know, a strategic kind of hurdle for you to learn and recognize and practice and refine and then master, right? Watching so master I sound like I'm like, absolutely, this is not a script or anything that I'm reading in this video. I feel like I'm just like trying to get you all to download or something, I'm not. I'm just trying to share A, how happy I am with the channel B, how happy I, happy I am with the community, you know, other creators, you guys in the comments helping me out, and C, just experience, you know, sharing my experience with the game and how much I still love it really more than ever. I absolutely think this game is worth downloading, um, and it's not even super heavy pay to win for the genre, for the genre, you know. Uh, I really, really love it. It's super, super fun. Let's see who put out Man, that's some that's some damage there, Vierna. Guys, I, I'm gonna wrap it here because I didn't want this video to be super, super long. But let me know, would you guys like to see kind of a more in-depth guide, a beginner's guide for this game? I did release one in the very beginning of the channel, but frankly, I had been playing the game for three weeks and I know a lot more than I did back then. So I'm thinking about perhaps deleting that video. Not that I, the information is still valid, but it's very basic, you know? So let me know if you'd like to see an updated kind of uh, beginner's tips or beginner's guide. Uh, here on the channel. Let me know what your experience has been like in the game if you have been playing. Thank you for watching. Much love. And as always, take care, guys.